Mabu, hi, hello and welcome. It is the last game from week two of the Women's Volleyball Nations League here in the Philippines. The smart Araneta Coliseum welcomes one final time Japan taking on China. Clayton Lucas here with you for this one, and I'm absolutely delighted to be joined by Courtney Thompson. Courtney, we've had a fantastic week of volleyball. What a game to round it all out with. Unbelievable. A great game. Going to be a battle tonight. We have our best crowd yet. It's rocking here in Manila. I'm grateful to be here. And we've got two Asian powerhouses going against each other, two great rivalries. And right now, Japan are in second place. That's the first time I think they've been off the top spot for a while, but they're the only undefeated team still, a magnificent seven from their magnificent seven so far. China down into fourth place, having lost to the USA. The USA lost to Japan, so what does that mean? I don't know. You never know, it's why we play the game. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be a fun one. So things beginning to shape up with a week to go. It's the top eight teams that will go through to the finals in Ankara, Turkey. If Turkey don't make it into the top eight, they'll still go. So the eighth place team gets kicked out, but Turkey would be ranked eight. They've got to get in the top eight so that they get ranked first because they're the host. That's the record. China really do have it over. Japan, it has to be said, 22 and five. That's quite impressive. But that doesn't mean to say that this won't be close. And I know we were chatting briefly off air um, as best we could here with the MC doing his job of rocking this arena. Um, Ciao. You know, it could be five sets, right? Yeah, this, both teams play such a fast style of offense and their defense is unreal on both ends of the both uh, both sides of the court tonight so i expect long rallies whoever's going to keep the ball in the court keep the pressure on the other team is likely to come out with the win the advantage china has is they do have the height and they do have uh, li ying ying just walking past the left-handed maestro they also have a player who's gone under the radar really and definitely worth a mention is Qin Yi. Twi uh, 32 points so far she's like the second outside hitter um, next to and along with Li Ying Ying. Li Ying Ying gets all the plaudits, Yuan Xin Yue, Gong Sheng Yu. Uh, but it's uh, been a really good performance from her. Talking of great voice, I mean, look at 133 points. Oh my goodness. That's Unbelievable. Crazy. All left handed, lots of it on the left side. And if you blink, you miss it. It's a vicious swing that she has. However, Japan are used to that. They won't have a problem with that. Mashiosi Manabe, the head coach, leading the team out. This was a little earlier on. And yes, they've got some new look players, but they've still got no. Serena Koga. No. They've still got Ishikawa, who's been coming in and doing the serving job. Shimamura's been amazing through the middle. It really has been a team performance, which is why they're still unbeaten. Can uh, Arisa Inoue, though, deal with the likes of uh, Li Ying Ying? Can the Japan's defense keep this ball no. off the floor and then make China's block their best friend? That's right. That's a big block. It is a big block, isn't it? but they just love, China love to frustrate blocks. Yeah, they were serving tough last night when the USA did get in trouble it was because China was, China was serving tough, able to get in front of those hitters and make a good move. So it's, you feel it's gonna come down to uh, in a way, 108 points for her. She's gonna have to pass well. She's gonna have to hit smart. She's gonna have to put up a decent block that the defenders around her can play against. And that means as well that for Serena Koga, 151 points, she's ahead of Li Ying Ying. It really is, it's a battle of the outsides. As good as, as, good as the middles can be, it's gonna need the outside, it's gonna need the passing unit to function tonight, and I can't wait. You can't wait either. How lucky are we, right? <laughs> oh, tell me about it. Our job's really tough, come on, no. It, it's a job we love, and we don't take it for granted. The fact that we get to talk about something we love is just amazing, and I hope those of you that are watching get enjoyment from watching as well and seeing these players perform things that you think, how on earth do they do that? Especially those of you watching that play the game and, and play to a good level and you're still thinking, how do they do that? It's crazy, it's right? So true, I've become even more of a fan this week, just being around this level of volleyball in person, it is a sight to be seen. And now a sight to be seen, the team's ready to come out onto court. It's a all new look for the Volleyball Nations League. So the first lot, so the first players to come out are China, but it's not the starting players, it is the uh, the bench. And look at that, it's a full house here, it's amazing. There's so many people in this. There's a whole bunch of people who are just queuing up to get their last minute snacks, of which there are plenty here, it must be said. It's a very cool coliseum for that department. 
So first out, it's going to be uh, Yuan Xinyue. She's got, um, so far, 59 points. She's averaging eight and a half points a match. How can you get half a point in a match? You can't, but that's stats for you. She's had 17 block points and six aces. Next out, it's Gong Sheng Yu in the opposite slot, right-handed. She's 25, 116 points. She's averaging 17 points a match. She's had 10 blocks and four aces. Followed by Wang Yuan Yuan going through the middle, number seven. She's been doing brilliantly. She's had 67 points, 10 points a game, pretty much. 14 blocks for her and two aces. And it's all careful, that's nearly caught a few people out this week. Wang Yun Lu is getting a start over Jin Ye. So she's got 29 points so far, five blocks. And here comes the superstar of the team, Li Ying Ying. 22 years of age, 133 points, 19 points a game, seven blocks, eight aces. Just a quality performance from her so far. And it's all gonna come down to this player, Bing Xia, the setter. She's 32 years of age now. She is the veteran player in the team. 12 points for her. She's had five swings. Second ball over attacks, four blocks and three aces. The starting Libero will be Wang Oei. It is the strongest team that China can put out. There is no question of that. So next coming out. Also good to see Bin Kai's back. In charge, no need for him to be on uh, on the phone, giving instructions to the players. And Japan now, the undefeated team. It's brilliant because this this is the venue, for those of you that don't know, I've harped on about it all week, but this is the venue for the uh, Muhammad Ali's last ever fight, the thriller in Manila, the two heavyweights of the, uh, the boxing world going at each other. And now we've got two Asian heavyweights going at each other here. And uh, it's now Team Japan making their way out and the first player who is going to be coming out. A huge draw. I think we're getting an idea of who the fans are going to be supporting here. Serena Kogar, she's 26, 151 points, 22 points a game, 12 blocks, two aces. Followed by uh, Shimomura Haru. She is 30, she's had 28 points, six blocks and an ace. Kotona Hayashi, 22 years of age, as an outside hitter, we'll see where she plays. She's only got 25 points so far, she might be in the opposite slot. It's going to be... We've seen it, Arisa Inoue, and now coming out as well, number 30, Seki Nanami, the libero. Five points he's had, four attack points. He's not had any blocks. He's had an ace serve. And the starting Libro making her <laughs> Just because she's short. Ojima, uh, Kojima coming out and doing all the low fives. That's who uh, Masayoshi Manabi has decided to get the job done. This is how the teams are lining up. Ding Xia is at one, the setter in one for China. And the setter in one. For Japan, they're both lining up with their three front court attackers, so they're going to be uh, mirroring each other most of the way around the court for this one. Nurpa Osbar is the first referee from Turkey. Kang Juhi from Korea is the second referee. It's China in blue serving, it's Japan in white receiving. It's the final game here from week two of the Women's Volleyball Nations League in Quezon City, Philippines. And it's a side out start for Japan. Hayashi making her presence known early on a very rare missed double hit by Team China. Japan's gonna have to take advantage of those easy plays if they wanna win this match. Bit of work here for China's doing, that's a slow start. Wang Yun Lu not getting a feel for the ball properly. So Japan up 2 nothing already. Nice serve by Japan. Yun Lu off the net, just trying to keep that one in. Those are balls, if you're not gonna swing for a kill, you really wanna keep in, make the other team earn it. 
Shia. Get out of here. Coming out of the gates already, you see. She is such a fluid setter. She just holds that so long in front of her. As you can see, Yakota can't keep up with that. Both teams playing a fast offense tonight, but Shia, one of the best. Decent ish ball in, but no middle coming. So China will double up outside, and that is something Japan are going to have to be wary of all game long. We talked about China's block. They're so big. Koga is off the net almost to the three meter line. Again, those balls, when it's not lined up, you want that outside hitter to just keep it in, give their team a chance. Lovely. Hayashi. And this is where Japan will and do just cut teams to ribbons. Really, these setters are so good. Seki running forward, has a nice clean finish aggressively. Hayashi able to find some line. Well executed by Japan. Oh dear, in the net by Li Ying Ying, reaching for that. And those long arms of hers <laughs> overextending into the net. Young Liu going for it on that second contact. With this kind of matchup, China's more apt to take some risks on that second contact, put it tighter. If it's 50-50, they're probably going to win those as long as they stay out of the net. About the same play here. Oh, that's nice. And that time, they get it done. What a swing from Li Ying Ying. Truly, really, about the same second contact as Young Liu. Ling Ling, a left-hander, is able to get her feet to that ball so she can still hit line. Really good work before the kill so she can go do her thing. And Yuan Yuan's serve is easily dealt with, but that's a really good pickup. Oh, it's another great play! Oh, yeah. And he's gonna make it, he's gonna make it! It doesn't make it. Oh. <laughs> you gotta love the spirit that Japan plays with. You think really that's nice done, right? You think, it's, it? you think it's done and it's over, but no, they just don't give up, right? Never, never, never give up. Never over. A bit of hustle from Japan. That's what they'll bring to this game. Plenty of speed, particularly if Koga doesn't have to pass the ball. That's right. You see Japan moving those hitters around that. Outside hitter Koga is coming inside the court to make China's blockers think when you're playing a big block. You want to make a move around. They're just trying to attack space. Oh, I say, Yuan Xinyue's hand is up. She said, come on, set me, set me, set me. Quicker, quicker, quicker. She was, look at that, just waiting for it. Unreal, such a big window. Exactly why Japan is gonna have to keep the serving pressure on because that is tough to stop. Oh, it's a great serve, and that's the kind of serving pressure that China can bring as well. And now they edge in front. See that ball just dropping. Right in front, not only is it in the seam, but also a short ball. The bottom fouls out of it. Great serve. Yeah, somebody definitely opened the trap door on that one, didn't they? Oh, yes, lovely blocking, Li Ying Ying. There was nowhere for Shimamura to go that time. That is a tough matchup for Shimamura. Li Ying Ying reading that hitter well and diving back into her seam. A little bit of cat and mouse game with that middle attacker running behind. We'll see how Shimamura responds. We go to the inside 10, which just had uh, China's block a little bit hesitant. See Inoue running that C ball, which is in between a pipe and that outside from the back row. When you've got that with the slide, it's a really tough combo to stop with the defense. Great serve. Has to go wide. And it doesn't get over. That's lovely blocking Shimamura along with Seki. It's not Japan's tallest block, but it's effective. One for the little guys. Seki on the board. Nice move by Shimamura to drop that left hand, get over the net. You don't have to be really high, you just gotta get over. Certainly helps to be high, but. Oh, Koga. If you just, we get to see that one again. We might not, it doesn't matter, but just the dig that Koga goes to make here. She doesn't keep her shoulders facing back towards the net. As it comes at her, she gets turned by that ball and it goes exactly where she's facing. Such a typical job, don't you? To keep your shoulders Such facing back. Swing. I try to liken it for those of you to kind of give a visual. If you make a baseball style swing when you're playing defense in one shoulder coming around with the other, it's going to go off your hands and out. If you make a golf style movement with one shoulder coming under the other, 
you're going to keep your platform back towards your teammates and get a good chance of keeping the ball in play. That's a good analogy. Thank you. Been nice, working on nice it. Nice job, well. coach. <laughs> <laughs> Thank nice you. Job. Good lead. Nice job by Japan, letting that one go. China still up by one. And the cheers for China ringing out. Now that looks like it could be in, but it's been given as out. I think we might see a challenge here. Maybe not. Bin Kai very impassive, not doing anything. Didn't touch anyone, so we're all square. Right now, the only thing separating these two teams is the net. Brilliant. Lovely pipe attack, big attack. She on the front row. Inoue has to get out there to get on Shin Yue and leaves that pipe with one blocker. Ying Ying's going to win that matchup a lot with one blocker in front of her. More trouble here for Japan. Out of system swing. That's a tough one for Inoue. Good cover, though, as you would expect from Japan. And again. Oh, well played, Ding Xia. Oh, not so well played, unfortunately, for Wang Yun Lu. That's a classic, though. She's facing the uh, the signage. She's facing the first referee. She's side onto the net, and then she's turned to hit it right into the net instead of trying to stay high. But there was a little court to go at, it must be said. Second now with the serve. Oh, what wow. a pick up. That's not off of the hands from Inoue. China edge in front. You can see a really nice block touch by Inoue. She wanted that swing for her team, just misses long. Good ball in. Uh, she does it. Probably a little bit high for her to get a, a speedy attack on it. Oh! Oh! Whoa, goodness! That very nearly came over. Such a great effort. And touching a lot of these balls, they just keep getting over and staying disciplined. Gong Sheng Yu, such a leader for this team China. Every single time out after the coach talk, she says something to her teammates, they listen. Nice to have those leaders on the floor. Ding Xia in early. Gong Shang Yu. She's got to be one of the best opposites. She really has her ability to move the ball, and put it where she wants. Great read by Xia. You see, Yakota can't quite get there. She's fronting that middle hitter, so she's taking one step to her right. The speed that China plays behind, that's just really tough to catch up to. That's not going to come back. Yes. Now, this is quintessential Japan. They run three attackers into one zone. There's so much to think about. There's two rhythms there. Really tough for those blockers to, to see where that set's going. It happens so fast. What a touch. Oh, my. That was really good watch that from Wang Wei Yi. Oh, another brilliant dig! 
China will come again. Oh, love it. Wow. And still it's in play. Seki. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh. oh, my goodness. So many good things in that rally, but we got to give credit to the libero Kojima from Japan. Look at this set. She jumps, she keeps in rhythm. It is on point. If you're watching at home, that looks so easy, and that is such an incredible play. Kojima made it look wow. easy. She put it on a plate, didn't she, for Kojima? Incre uh, for, uh, it's only set one. This is I so know, exciting. my goodness. We're going to have no voice left at this rate. Hey. There's no way through for Wang Yuan Yuan. Yakota doing a nice job of not trying to overdo it and play to their strengths and go too high, just doing what she can to get over the net. You see, most hitters are going to bring that ball down into the block. Pass the play by Gong Sheng Yu, keeping China in front. This is where there's a little bit of cat and mouse with the setter and the blockers. You see, Shia's taking advantage of Yakota fronting that middle. We'll see if either of them make an adjustment here. Oh, come on. It's like video game volleyball. Oh, my. The commit out of the middle blocker. What an amazing choice by Yakota. She's committing on number seven, Yuan Yuan. Before the play, taking a chance. She guesses right. Great move by her. Oh, it's a great touch. If anyone can get there, then three go and say no. That's a tough one. We've seen some easy mistakes on both sides tonight. China starting early with a few unforced errors. For either of these squads to win, they're going to have to clean those up. Tough one for Japan. Keeps China in front for the moment. Well watched Shimamura, but she's now out of the play. Doesn't matter, though. What a swing from Koga. Incredible approach by Koga. She's a little bit off the net. You see that torque? You talked about throwing a baseball. You can see her left hip, there's a lot of tension in her core, and then she just lets it unleash, giving her so much power. Great up by Kojima. Great dig as well for China and Wang Wei Yi. But it will be Japan's point. Uh, the thing is, though, right, that these teams could go to five and they could sustain this level all the way through, couldn't they? That's uh, Gong Sheng Yu trying to get hands that was weren't there. That's good work from Li Ying Ying. She's a very clever player. If it's there to be hit, it's there to be hit. If not, she will look for other solutions. That's right, a nice shot off the hands. Definitely an advantage China has and will need to utilize if they want to win this. Just a little too much on that. When you're playing quick like that, it does it can be a bit risky. You but don't get the timing correct. Less room for air as anyway comes in. Again, a good play. Let's see if Saki can see that Shin, uh, Shinue was fronting that. See if she changes her route this time. Another great swing from Li Ying Ying. It might just come down to that, you know, it might just come down China going, you know what, we can't find a way through the middle, so let's just go high. We'll give it to Li Ying Ying. You can go over the top of the block like that of Seki, we can score points. These teams are battling right now. Such a fun match so far. We knew it would be good defense. The crowd is rocking. It almost feels like we're on a roller coaster during these rallies. Every time there's a dig, the whole crowd goes, whoa, whoa. And then it's... Um, 
Yes, you're absolutely right. And then one moment they're cheering for, for China, the next they're shouting Nippon. They just want great volleyball, don't they? Yeah. It's amazing. Good dig. Great dig from Koga. Well, Li Ying is out of the play. It has to go to Gong Sheng Yu. And Japan ready for that. And it's going to be a foot fault, unfortunately, against Inoue. Such a nice setup by Seki. A really great play. Inoue just catches her foot on the line. A lot of space there. Good choice. Just got to get better on that execution. Sheng Yu to serve. And front court setter played it into Wang Xin Yue's block. She couldn't even get off the floor. Just kept their hands out. And that's great blocking, though, because that's what you want from middle blockers. You want them stood with their hands high. That's right. Just get low and over. And then you want them to do that as well. Fabulous block from yeah, yeah, Wang Xin Yue. <laughs> Another fabulous block that time. Ding Xia joining the monster block party. Right, setters on the board. She's getting low and over. Does a good job of seeing that inside set, stopping short, and diving in with that left hand. She's fired up about it. Not going to come back. China now moving away in the set. We talked about it on defense. But even in the passing lane, you want to stay aggressive and keep your platform in front of that. Stay behind the ball. That got a little behind Koga. Locks in a good place again, but I think you've got a nit touch. Indeed, we have against China. Well spotted by the first referee. That set a little bit tight. Ying Ying. She wanted it. A little too aggressive on the net there. Oh, oh. Yuan Xin Yue on a, a super angle. It wasn't going to come back, but yet again, Japan getting some hands on the ball. Unreal. That happened so fast. Hayashi in a really good position. And that's, off. that's a purposeful play. They know exactly where Yuan Xin Yue wants to hit. And putting a player in that position. Japan can come again. Four players moving around the setter. Oh, that's well watched by Hayashi. Nowhere for Inoue to go. She'll have another go, though. And now it's China have got a swing chance here. Oh, oh my. Go is still going. Free ball, China. And now Japan have got a chance. Oh, my goodness. There had to be someone to end the rally, and of course, it's Li Ying Ying brings up set point. Just big dig after big dig. Both teams working so hard, and Ying Ying able to find some space in between two blockers. I feel like I got my cardio in just watching that rally. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Yes. Li Ying Ying then with the serve. I'll have to wait for a moment or two before they take the set. It truly is like any time the ball's touched now, you just expect someone to get it, even when it's 20 feet off the court. A nice high swing from Team Japan. They're going to need to keep doing that, attacking edges, attacking high. When it's lined up, going for it. Well, this is a tough serve to deal with. You know, the way that she comes in and then serves. Oh, yes, and it's that tough, it's an ace. But this is a completely different picture than that you ever see when you're a serve receiver. No one serves from this angle. No one does this. Yeah, that's right. She's kind of got an inside-out approach. She also, using that hybrid, she could float it. She could put some topspin on that. 
In the end, it doesn't land in place. So China take the set 25-21. They lead Japan by one set to nothing. Just an incredible start to what's been an incredible week of Volleyball Nations League. Hashtag be part of the game. That, uh, that spectators just checking in what's going on on social, and this is what's happening according to the stats, which will probably bear no resemblance to what we actually watch because that's statistics for you. But <laughs> lies, damn lies, statistics. Uh, errors wise, though, uh, China, that's high for them, giving six points away. They got off to a slow start, but then got back into it. Japan, pretty good. Yeah, I think. The difference was uh, not only errors on attack, but these easy plays, a free ball here, a free ball there. Zhang Shengyu setting the ball out of bounds. So for either team to make a difference, especially Japan, with their backs against the wall here, they're going to have to clean those plays up. Yeah, so is that like a, a free ball here, a free ball there? <laughs> Everywhere a free ball. Why not? <laughs> yes. CNC Music Factory. There we go. Look, that's that's nice. That's a, a good area in which the ball's passed in. So 39% of them were in the in the green zone. And, and for China, brilliant. 60% or so in, in just the perfect place where you really want that ball to be to really put it out quick wide and put it out behind and create that space. So very good passing and set of contacts. A couple, though. Those ones, uh, six of those where Japan served tough and Ding Sha's off the net. Got to make something happen, and that's where, where uh, you know all too well, Courtney, being a world-class uh, player as you were, and world champion and Olympic silver medalist, that you can still make something out of that. That's right, especially the way these guys move. Both setters do such a nice job of getting in position, using their right foot as a, as a plant foot, overextending that finish. Just able to put really good balls up for their hitters. Li Ying Ying, eight points so far for her. We knew she'd be playing well. And Koga is also leading by example as the captain for Japan. So, second set underway. Japan with the serve. And they could be taking the first point. They will be taking the first point. As easy as that from Hayashi. Really nice jam by Hayashi. She stays behind this, able to see that block and throw it in there. Japan serving the stack here in China's rotation one. Oh, I say. Kojima. Japan will come again. Oh, no, they won't. I think I actually just lost a footing then. That's Hard just phenomenal. What a dig. Unbelievable. Hard to say if Matsui got confused on the call or that ball's sweaty. Either way, one she'd like to have back. Great pick up, but a little too far away from Ding Xia. And Japan up 2-1. Hayashi on her follow through, she's almost got some side spin on that ball, so when it hits you as a defender, it's not coming directly there. So if you don't hit, get all the way behind it, it's gonna fly off like we saw there. Gong oh. Xia, it just, Gong Xiang Yu, incredible, incredible athlete. Great play by her and a lot of credit to Yuan Yuan and also Xia. That middle blocker for Japan jumping with China's middle 
giving Chang Yu a lot of space. She takes good care of that. Nice touch by Ding Xia. That's more like it. That's China at their best. They get that ball into transition from defending to attacking. Gong Shang Yu showing her setting skills. Really, that second contact is such a difference at this level. You see Ying Ying getting a great swing on that ball. Oh, good touch. Yes, that's come through the antenna. Play on. Not any longer, though. Koga ends the rally. Coming in hot. Both these teams, it just feels like there's always four attackers coming so quickly. China unable to catch up with that. Yuan Shin Yue has to worry about those three hitters on the other side of the court. Makoto with the serve. Oh dear, well, a little bit of confusion then. Ding Xia wasn't there quickly enough. Gong Xiang Yu was facing in the right direction, but then was put off by her setter. She was feeling that last one she got. She said, oh, let me, let me have another chance. That's a pretty good pass, one that Xia's gonna get 10 out of 10 times. What a set. Great swing again as well, off the back of it. Most teams, that long set for a lefty on the outside is a tough one. But Li Yi Ying, once she's so long, but also her great footwork allows her to get to that ball, go straight up, get a great swing. That's going to be going to Japan because uh, Ding Xia didn't wait for it to come onto her side of the net. And the referee seeing that, look, the ball is on the side of Japan. You know you can't play it. You have to wait. It's so hard to wait. Patience is a virtue. <laughs> she didn't need to do it either. She would have won the point anyway. <laughs> oh, great play. <laughs> Li Ying Ying. Such a good hold by Sutter. She got uh, Shimamura didn't even attempt, and Li Ying Ying had cross court. She had line. She could probably just go over the Japan block as well. Nice, aggressive attack from Koga. Great swing and a great set by Matsui. She's running off the net. The key here for setters is can they keep their hitters in rhythm on these medium passes that are a few feet from perfect? She's doing a great job. Excellent. If China are going to win this, Li Ying is going to be doing a lot more of these type of plays. She seems to be the difference at the moment. She's the go-to player for China. And then Gong Sheng Yu as well. Not much going on in the middle for, Japan, uh, for China right now. And Shen Yue going to have a little think about what she's just done. Shame. <laughs> you think about that in the corner on the bench. Get the next one in. Oh, what a serve. Well, it was a decision by Bin Kai to start with Wang Yunlu and not number eight, Jin Yi. Great serve by Shimamura, making that front row outside hitter move to her right, something she's not looking to do. Gets him in trouble. Another error. I wouldn't be surprised if Wang Yunlu is thinking she might be getting subbed out here if she makes another error. And indeed, just out of your picture, I can see Jin Yi taking her uh, tracky suit, tracky suit, the tracky top off. She might be coming in. And this is that, and as a player, when you've, all of you that have played and wore your tracky suits are on the bench, but all of those of you that have been on court and you've gone, oh, bad pass, didn't make a defense. And then you see that you see the player who knows is vying for your place take their TZ top off. You're like, oh, no, I've got to make a good play next. Yeah, that's a tough living. That's a little too easy, Japan, all over this one. 
And they will take the point. Koga on the pipe. That's a play where NFL star Marshawn Lynch used to say, you gotta check your mentals. You're gonna have to get your mind right on that play, you see. Check your mentals. Check your mentals, folks. Love it. That's gonna get used again. <laughs> Just like a trucky suit. <laughs> I've never heard that before. I meant to say tracky top. <laughs> they a great block from Japan. They're doing a great job of reading these sets from Shia and just getting over, trying to take space where they are. You called it. Here it comes as a former outside hitter. Yeah, I know what that <laughs> feeling's like. Which one were you, coming on or going off? A bit of both. There you go. I feel you. And right now, China are feeling it from Japan. 12-7, what a turnaround. We'll go to the technical timeout. Japan up by five. Work to be done for China. Another change coming. It has to be said, actually, that to, to be fair, uh, Wang Yuan hasn't done a great deal. She's not been up to it much, but then she hasn't had a ball in to do anything. So uh, Jenny Shin has come in to replace her, number 14. Dong Shang Yu with no joy in the half ball middle. This is going to be a tough one. And uh, Jin Yi does extremely well to keep it alive. Bit of a scrappy rally, this one. But it will be taken, and Jin Yi will take the point. Lovely start for her coming onto court. Yeah, tough swing by her. You're going to see this. We talked about these two teams being powerhouses in the world, and every good team is going to make a run. This is about can China just manage Japan's run here? They're, get, they're catching fire. Can they get back to good, make one play? Tie this thing up. Not with Japan playing like that, they won't. Their side that game is pretty competent so far. Matsui doing a good job of mixing this, this up. You see, substitute Yushin moving to her left. Ideally, she's just going to wait and read and react after she sees that set. She guesses wrong there. Oh, what a block. Koga one on one and completely shuts down Sheng Shi Shin. You look at the timing of this. That ball drops a little bit inside. Yu Shin already outside. Really tough to adjust that direction as a middle hitter. More trouble here for China. More points for Japan. More joy for the fans. Timeout call by China. One atmosphere for this crowd. Koga just going off, taking advantage of that overpass. <laughs>
Well, that didn't last long, did it? Yi Jin's gone off again. And uh, Wang Yun Lu's back in, so she's in now for the rest of the set, whatever happens. That you can't come back out again once you've gone off and come on. But Li Ying Ying is still playing great. She is an outlet. But it's hard. you'll be hard-pressed, really, to see Japan throwing this away with the lead they've got here. That's right. You see Okoda unable to get there. And even if so, Ying Ying just goes over that block. She's got a lot of space to hit. That's exactly why Japan's going to have to keep up the serving pressure. And the attacking pressure. Ying Ying trying to get out there, but that's so fast. You see, she takes three quick shuffle steps, isn't able to get all the way out there. She's caught reaching. No, oh, it's another overpass. And Ayashi with an absolute bumper. Japan, no doubt playing into their game plan. We got to put serving pressure on them and they're taking advantage of all of these overpasses. Well done by Team Japan. That's outside the antenna from Li Ying Ying. And it's, a, well, this sets Japan's, I've, I've said it. <laughs> You've seen some volleyball, I trust you. Oh, come on, look at the lead they've got and the way they're playing. I think, yeah, I think we've all kind of, uh, we'll surmise it's going to be Japan's this one. It's, China are really in uh, disarray at the moment. And they're really struggling on serve receive. And just it is Li Ying Ying who's trying to keep it together for them. That's right. Japan's done a nice job of getting low and over, touching a lot of these big swings from China, that's a play they're okay with. Just able, not able to run that one down. One of very few they haven't gotten off the block. Well read by Gong Sheng Yu. And yep, Li Ying Ying will score. Let it be known, Li Ying Ying in the building, taking this ball to a sharp angle. We call that four to four. That is a really tough swing. Shimamura unable to drop that left hand, take away that low seam. Hayashi, fabulous. Hayashi's having a night. Such good vision by Hayashi. You see her approach. She's committed to that line, but does a nice job of step closing to that ball. Able to take an inside set cross court. That looks like an ace serve to me and to the referee and to the team. Japan just on, on fire right now, playing so aggressively all the way around. Well played, Yuan Shin Yue, I think. Probably a first swing of the second set. Yeah, nice shot by her, you see. She out gets her height at the antenna, she's able to hit line, there's some space there. With a hitter like that, you gotta choose something. And that, therefore, something is left. Oh, set. However, the block didn't touch the ball, and so it's four touches against Japan as they try to recycle it. Matsui's feeling it tonight, you know? You're feeling it, you're going for it, that's a good miss. She's being aggressive. And then when you are behind and you're trying to make something happen, you try and serve a little bit tougher, You get a little bit tighter in your body and then the errors come. That's not coming back. Ace serve Koga. I can't remember the last time Japan put this kind of a scoreline on China or any other team for that matter. Wow, you can see how much that serve is moving side to side. When you get a nice contact on the serve, it becomes like a knuckleball in baseball. I think Sheng Yu got hit there oh. on a celebration. Gong Sheng Yu also saying, yes, I'm okay. That's pretty good English.
Koga. And a lot of pick up. And so too is that from Li Ying Ying. Oh, look at that. High to the middle, one handed play. Good up. Ooh, good set. Japan now four players moving. But China equal to it for the moment. Oh, yes, what a dig. This rally's holding up now. It is still going. Oh, I say, come on. And we'll go again. The 5,000 fans here loving every hey. second of this. And now China take it. And the place goes crazy. Wow. What a joy to watch this level of volleyball. Just. Swing after swing getting dug. Ying Ying everywhere on defense. And then here, here she comes out of the back row doing it all for Team China. Unbelievable play by number 12. Defensively, offensively. You guys are raising the bar on how to play defense here tonight. That's a toughie. So China have a point. But I've already said Japan are going to win the set, so that's so that's the end of that. There'll be no coming back for China. <laughs> It'd be great if they did, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> Japan now then just need two to get the job done and level up this match. Shimomura makes a good choice with a big block in front of her. That set a little bit low, flying outside. She keeps it in. Happens to fall. Ishikawa, a fan favorite here in Manila. And she's got a wonderful serve on her as well. China, beware. That one's played into the net. Gong Sheng Yu. Uh, Gong, uh, Deaton Shah is going to say that he wants to check for block touch. And uh, Bin Kai might call for, yes, they're going to call for block touch here. So Ding Xia's going to play the ball. She's played it in the net. The question is, did any of the ball touch the block for her then to be able to play it once more? Because once the block touches it, once Japan touch it, Ding Xia can play it again. They get three touches. Here we go, here we go. Touch, 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 touch. No, 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 no. Yes. Nine times out of ten, this technology shows that there's always a touch in the block in these situations. It's amazing what this has completely changed the way that referees call that play now. And invariably, from watching this and all the case studies, they'll just let it go and make the blocking team call mid-rally as opposed to calling the team that's playing it for four. So we've got a do-over, or a let, for the rest of the world outside of the USA. What a dig. And what a way to bring up set points. Tamaki Matsui just doing such a nice job of keeping her team in rhythm, pushing that speed. You see, she knows it's coming fast and still can't quite get out there. She's reaching out. Japan able to take advantage of that outside hand. Ishikawa once again. Carol will go off and Kojima will take her place. Shimomura coming into the front row. They're coming off to come on. Actually, they're not changing that, and so it's a... They have made the change, but it's set point now. Japan with plenty of opportunities to get it done from side out. One will do. You know, he puts it down. Japan take the set 25-16. It's one all here in Manila. Anui, such a good job of hitting those high edges. Japan made some amazing adjustments in set two, and China can't quite keep up with it. One, one, just as the neutrals that are watching, me being one of them, and Courtney, like it. 
Japan undaunted after losing that um, first set. They've come back. And uh, an incredible performance, actually. 25-16 to take that second set. That's very, very impressive. 5,000 fans have filed in for this one. It's been a wonderful atmosphere here. Great to see all the fans in watching this. Here are the stats for that one. Japan, three errors. They're doing to China what China normally do to them and everybody else in terms of the low error rates. That's right. China looking a little out of sorts here in set two. Starting with their passing, if they want to turn this around, they're going to have to get back to good at the service line, putting pressure on Japan, and also getting their passing in order. Nice new graphic, spike velocity. You can tell Courtney's not playing because nothing is above 100 kilometers an hour. That's right. I mean, a ball coming at you anyway in, in those regions, look at that, in the six meter line that Japan had gone pretty steep. They found the gaps in the block. There's only one ball in the last three meters of the court. It's unbelievable what these teams are doing on defense. They're just getting stopped, staying so calm, and they're just so good at reading the game at this level. They make these plays look easy. That happens so fast. Hayashi's been a little bit like um, the outside hitter for China, Jin Yi, under the radar player for Japan, but really coming good in this game, making a name for herself. Sixteen points now. It is the Li Ying Ying show at the minute for China. Trying to get them out of all sorts of bother, but it didn't really help in that last set. But it's all square, it's all to play for. Third set is about to get underway. Yes, Ishikawa will be playing as soon as the coach wants her back on again for some serving. Well, at the moment, not required. Away we go with set three. And Japan very quickly established the middle immediately. You see, Yokota's not overpowering anyone with her shoulder, but she has such nice wrist action at the top of that swing. Gets a nice deflection off that block. Great serve, 2-0 Japan. The serve is so tough when it's coming from five and it's hitting that seam. It's a really hard play for middle back to, to cut off as she's moving towards the outside of the court. You can see it's getting China in a lot of trouble. This for three nil. It is three nil. And Japan have got a very simple serving tactic right now. Serve number 10. Right, 14, Yushin unable to catch up with the speed of that after Japan has established that middle hitter presence. It's a great seam to attack from five. Nice serving run by Inui. The Ying Ying. Excellent from Koga. That's a great swing, but this set from that far, Tamaki Matsui, so much strength in her finish, the way she throws her arms to that target. Incredible setter. Well, that's landed in, so China will take that point. Sheng Yu has been swinging aggressively when there's a lot of space like there is on that play. Sometimes the best thing you can do is to tip it because the defense think, is thinking you're going to just come in hot, swing a heavy ball. Wow. Well done, Hashi, again. 
nice shot, but also this set from Tamaki Matsui going for it. That is about the full length of the court. Hayashi helping her shutter out, getting inside, going off those hands. Gong Sheng Yu back to serve now then for China. There are a couple behind, Japan starting brightly once again. The speed of that is just enough that Japan, uh, China can't settle their block. That's right, a pretty good read by Young Lu, but she's stressed by her, that middle blocker coming in, middle hitter coming into her zone. So she's flying off the net. Ball goes out. Wang Yun Lu. There's a moment of stillness from Inoue. She goes up, she waits, she doesn't hit in the same rhythm that she goes in at, so the block then can't or doesn't know when to, to get across the net. And their rhythm's a little bit out of sorts. So she goes away, and then it's a really quick hit on the ball. It's unbelievable. And they set the same way. You know, a lot of these, this Asian style of volleyball, they're so good at timing and coordinating that as setters, as hitters. Oh, what a picking from Inoue. And if I found it is making a dig on that one. Wow, what an effort. And again. That's not made it in. And it's not touched any hands. And Japan are up by four. It's exactly what a team like Japan will do. They're just relentless on defense. Make you earn it until you get frustrated. That just doesn't come back. Even with someone in the way of that, when Li Yingying can have that kind of a swing cross court, it's uh, point over. Well, props to Inoue with one blocker who is very much undersized against Yingying. She stays in that four to four. That angle is so sharp and it happens so fast. Respect for that defender. And Japan just keep going about their business of scoring points. Noga going wrist away, you see her thumb going down on that back row set, able to get that ball on the outside hand of Ying Ying. Good touch again. Japan know exactly where China hit their, their uh, slide behind and they're putting someone three meter line, middle of the court. Great up. Well, that's good blocking from China. The longer the rallies go on, the less disciplined you expect players to become, but at this level you cannot afford to do that. Yeah, you really can't. Tamaki Matsui wanted that one back. I don't know if that was a miss. It was kind of in between that middle hitter and her opposite. Lovely. The speed of that ball out wide. Everything happening around the setter and then whoosh. Out right. it goes. A true isolate. You see Yushin's following that middle hitter. Matsui's pulled to her left. All the action happening. She throws it out to get a one-on-one. -on -one. That's good play. Ding Xia having to go to her knees to create the time so she could get a ball out for Li Ying Ying. That's right. That's rotation one in that stack. China's got stuck there a few times. They're happy to get out of that rotation on their first side out. blocking when China don't have to move when they're Japan are moving into where China are waiting there's trouble that's right you see China in a read block at that point they're not guessing they're just waiting and reacting worked out for Yun Lu good serve That 
was quite close. China could get back to within one. With Gong Shang Yu not being aggressive enough. And so Japan will take the point. Just so disciplined Japan is over time. A lot of these off plays, those second contacts, the athletes are getting low, giving themselves time, making an easy play. The attacker's doing a nice job of keeping the ball in when everything isn't lined up. Well played. Kind of just, it's just settled down for a moment, hasn't it? As the players subconsciously take a little bit of a breather, perhaps, but we're getting less of the long rallies for a, for a few points anyway. Well, it's a net touch against China, and Dong Shang Yu saying, I didn't touch it, and uh, Yuan Xin Yue says, oh, Yeah, I did. <laughs> that takes us to the technical timeout. Japan in front. This is such a great game. And I said we had 5,000 in. The official attendance is. Drum roll. 5,700 both teams have settled into their passing lanes a little bit here in set three, doing a nice job of giving their setters more opportunities to be in system where they have all the hitters available. <laughs> that should have hit the floor, but it doesn't because Japan just say, no, no, we're going to make a touch. But even so, China take the point. That was just an amazing swing, Gong Sheng Yu. Great defense. Unreal. See, Japan is leaving that left side, that opposite one on one. This is part of their tactics because they're so good at defense. On that right side, that time doesn't work out. Well, they've certainly done their homework, Japan. Once again, even the slide, slide behinds of Gong Sheng Yu, any cross court. They're coming away from the norm of where you play defense. And it's either Hiyashi or uh, number 24 is just getting into that into six or well, three in the middle. And Japan take another point here. Japan, I, I don't want to say, I don't want to jinx it, but my, they're playing so well. China just really don't seem to have an answer. Which can only lead potentially to another Japan victory. But again, Hayashi's in the right spot. There's, that ball is catching somebody. It's not hitting. There are no clean winners. So fast. Nice to see Shin Yue get involved in this offense. I think if China's going to make a run here, they're going to need to get their middles involved, not only for kills in the middle, but to open up the outside attackers even more. That's in. It's an ace serve. Very good serve from Wang Yunlu. Right, attacking that seam in between two passers. Oh, fabulous from Inoue. Both her and Koga and Hayashi, they're so good at finding that deep part of the court in these situations. That's right, that set a little bit off the net, and look at that going over. Shin Yue, a nice high swing. Again, high hands looking to go deep, but a better block touch this time by China. And then Li Ying Ying hits angles that just, well, they're just ridiculously good. She's so good with her feet to be able to get to these inside balls so she can still take it high, 
still give direction, cut that thing four to four. You're right, that is a nasty angle. So tough to defend. Because Japan keep getting the seams and, the, and it looks like it's, it always hit this straight down, but she hasn't. She's just put it into the arms and it goes straight down. The gap in the block exploited. That's right, the game of inches. Got to get over that net if you want to get those stuff blocks. Well left by China. Japan looking for the side out to go a couple in front. Tamaki, Matsue, Tamaki as she's known, who's come in and replaced Seki. And has done a good job, it has to be said. Such a fun setter to watch. She's so aggressive. And the wrist she'll take to get her, hit her some swings here. Faifan gives Li Ying Ying a great ball. And oh, yes. The range of shots is incredible. It's always nice to have a go-to outside hitter. That is where the game is won. She just goes up and over. Virtually impossible to stop. That's one where Japan just says, hey, good shot. Let's get on to the next one. You've got to feel, haven't you? There's a lot of European clubs would dearly love to have her in their team. <laughs> a little bit of gymnastics by Hayashi after that swing. Tamaki gets her another one-on-one, -on -one, a lot of space. She goes against her body and that wrist away. Looks like she's going to take that line. Good range by her. It's just a given now, every time that uh, Li Ying gets the ball, it's going to be point China. That's right. You see these setters in the cat and mouse game. Xia knows that Yakota's going to be following their middle blocker, so she'll run her one direction and set the other, opening up that outside hitter. Both teams know that they can't they can't hit steep because they'll get touched, they'll get block touches. So we're seeing really good swinging to the last last meter of court. Truly, Tamaki's running off the court. You see, there's so much space there for her attacker. She made a very medium pass look perfect on that play. Well, for once, Japan get nowhere near that. That's a sensational hit from Gong Sheng Yu. Xia doing the same thing on her side of the net. Dong Sheng Yu staying behind that ball. Follows through with Torque. Able to find that inside seam. Oh, the speed wow. of that. It was indeed wow. Why was it wow? Because it's Japan. That's right. <laughs> that was the speed of like a middle hitter. Koga is almost through her third step. That is a very fast set to the pin and a nice rhythm. The faster it is, the harder it is to stay in rhythm. Oh, good touch. Well played, Ding Xia. Oh, wow. it's a lovely pancake. We've got another rally brewing. The chase is on, it might come back. Oh, and it oh. won't in the end. The effort, you gotta love it. Non-stop. But China now have got back level. Such a good pick up that by Kojima. Just relentless effort again. Hayashi in such a good position. That ball is just too strong from Cheng Yu. She's such a dynamic player. She's quick, but also has a heavy arm. It's a really tough combo. <laughs> Ding Sha looking at the ref to say, was there a net touch there? There must have been something that couldn't possibly have got past me like without there being a fault committed. Great, Kojima runs up to her setter and hugs her and says, thank you, thank you, thank you. That was a tough pass. Huh? Tamaki made it look easy. Yeah, Tamaki was hugging the post, wasn't she, as the <laughs> swing was coming. Yes, good up, well read by Gong Sheng Yu. Oh, goodness. Oh my gosh, that set. Get out of here. Oh, Bin Kai, get out of the way. The reaction of these athletes, so many hours of training, and they're out there in the court. Hayashi didn't expect that, throws up a casual, perfect set out of system. Japan with the kill. 
And they've gone back in front again now. 2018. Timeout called by China here. Time for everyone to catch their breath. Just sometimes you just run out of words, don't you? Just to describe it all. It's like you think you've seen it all and then it just you see something even more amazing. Are there any games or a game that's coming to mind where you were involved in a similar type of match like this one? I think any time we played China, it was always just, they're big, they're physical, they're so good on defense, we knew it would be an all-out brawl. World champs comes to mind, but you know, I'm a little... Oh, 2014 <laughs> in Italy, indeed, and that was some game, wasn't it? That was when Jenny Langping was in charge of China, the Iron Hammer. A real battle between her and Coach Karch Kirai. It was an epic game. Another high swing off the hands again. Japan doing such a nice job of swinging high, getting that outside hand of those blockers. Touch, but no one can get to that. Shimomura has gone out to block, and then her lateral movement as she's jumped has taken her way past the antenna. So watch where she goes here. Oh, I say that. Well, a little bit. She's opened up, but she's opened up away from the ball and then can't get to it. I can't believe Kojima can get under that play. Just when you think it's going to be a clean kill, Japan finds a way to get under it. Well, that's a clean kill from Shimomura. 22-19, could this be Japan 2-1? It might well be. Well, we've got a serving substitution. And on comes uh, Mayu Ishikawa, plays for the uh, Torre Arrows, who are third in the V-League this season. A fan favorite here tonight. Most definitely. Giving Li Yingying some work to do. And she does it very well. That's so hard when there's a small blocker and a big hitter. You're just expecting for a deflection or it to go right over. That tip over the small blocker is a really effective play. I know because that was a small blocker. <laughs> it happened a lot. Oh, yes. Well, that was one where Inoue thought she could have a swing. And instead of taking on the high hands, perhaps saw a gap. But it, if there was one, it was closed pretty quickly. That's right, a nice job by Yuan Yuan getting over the net with that left hand. Well played. That time, Inoue does work the block. And this is a big point for Japan now, 23-21. Got to love these attackers from Japan. Just taking on those high hands of Yuan Yuan. Great swing by her. Well, whilst they're doing... Besides the USA kit, which you wore with pride and, and loved it, and you've seen all the teams that play around the world, what's your favorite kit either you've seen or played in? Ooh. Have a think about that. Yeah. We'll get to it after the set finishes. You got it. Oh, and it might be finishing pretty soon now. I tell you, 24-21, Japan have uh, got themselves set point. So impressed with how Tamaki Matsui has come in and been a game changer for this team. She's playing aggressive with confidence. 
Well, he's not going to beat the setters in a joust. Well, that's clever play, making Ding Xia have to play the first ball. It's a big net touch then from Japan. Spotted by the referee, so that set point is not taken. Playing at a high level is all about being in the present moment. Sometimes when you're almost about to win, you get a little ahead of yourself. Excellent ball in here. But not a, a full swing. Ding Sha's on it again. Oh, good art, Kojima. Oh, the speed of that, but still, it doesn't hit the floor. Oh, it's just amazing volleyball. My cheeks are from smiling. So good, such great defense from both sides. You see Kojima getting under that thing, looking to keep that speed on the set, misses just a little bit low. Another set point saved. This is the last chance for Japan, otherwise they'll have to get one from having a, a swing and serving. They don't need to though, they've got it done now. Japan take it 25-23. It's 2-1 here at the Smart Araneta Coliseum. What an incredible match to Rangdag. Week two of the VNL here. This is rocking. Japan just being relentless on defense and working hard to get good swings. Anyway, fired up about that, as she should be. That's what it means to the players. They can go and have a little bit of a warm up. Well, I talked to you, I mentioned kit earlier, which is your favorite kit besides the one you wore for the USA. I'll tell you mine. I love China's kit. I think it's just simple, effective, um, easy to read, classic kit, which also goes to the USA men's kit from 1984 when oh. Karch played. That kit, just for me, probably the best kit. That's tough to argue. Karch makes anything look good, <laughs> to be fair. You're the best in the world. But it was just like, it was like a little polo shirt. I just loved it. It had a little collar on it and everything. And we all, yes, it was just, yeah, my favorite ever kit. What about you? I think I might go with, um, our neighbors to the north, Canada. You know, little denim on denim. They were rocking in the Olympic Village. <laughs> the true Canadian kit. <laughs> I'm from Washington, which is just south of the Canadian border. So that could be, I'm a little partial. Well, there you go, brilliant. Well, those of you that are watching, um, hashtag be part of the game. Let us know what your favorite kit is. These are the stats from the, the match. Look at that, China back to the, China, one unforced error, but still not good enough. That's how well they played. It's how well Japan played to make that happen. And just, oh, I'm in volleyball heaven here. I don't know about, about you, Courtney, and everyone watching wherever you're watching from, but you just, you can't leave your screen for the moment. This is what um, China have been doing attack-wise, hit points. That, a uh, laser line going across is 2.8 meters, so some of those are being hit above that, and some a little bit below. And for a I mean, look at that, because that's 2.8 meters. That's I Inoue and Koga who are bringing it from that side of the court, which is where they've had to. China have been serving tough, and Japan working well in that system. Very good representation of the court as well, actually. I didn't realise that, I noticed it before. But and when you look at the court for real, it's exactly the same. <laughs> 11 points for Gong Sheng Yu. Two blocks. I think there's two aces and a block. Japanese fans loving Inoue and her 13 point haul so far. You know, when I was an athlete, when I was competing for USA, I used to have this dream when I was stressed that like I couldn't find my jersey to get to the game. And you're just running around, you can't find it, all the things. I feel like it's like playing China or Japan. You get all these clean swings that you can't get a kill. It's like, come on. <laughs> just such good defense from both these teams. So there we go then. With the set. That's a little bit too tight, and I think Ling Yingying's touched the net. She has, you know. Referee spotting that. 
Ding Xia really has this thing on a string, just a little bit too much force with her arms that goes wide. It's laser guided at times, isn't it, from oh. these setters? Unbelievable. Not so the pass and a net touch against China. Not that it matters. We also had, I think, Ding Xia may well have contacted that, contacted that, easy for me to say, above the height of the net. She's a back row player, and that means, for those of you wondering, she's not allowed to touch the ball above the height of the net. Might be deemed to be a block, being that close to the net. If it's played onto her. Nice cover from Kojima. Oh, yes, Fai Fan, great pickup. That's not easy for Li Yingying to have to turn around like that. And then with three players going after the ball, and Fai Fan having missed it, she can't turn. And Three, nothing now for Japan. What a start. Such an effective play for Hayashi. As you see, she stays behind that ball, an open hand tip, but throws it with a little bit more depth, a really tough area to get. We call that the campfire. I know your Canadian friends call it in the pocket. <laughs> that doesn't happen often. Li Ying Ying just maybe over rotating a little bit on that one. 4 0 Japan. And timeout China. Japan have got them rattled. Follow 5, China again having a hard time getting their passing rhythm going as a team. Japan attacking those seams, moving them short and deep. Serving right into their stack there in rotation one. Oh dear. That was right into the meat of the block then from Inoue. So trying to get their first point. What a way to get it. Really nice read by Yuan Yuan. You can see that ball is set inside. She does a nice job of stopping where she is getting over. Says good night. That's a nice lead by Hayashi. Li Ying Ying trying to make it difficult for her. Inoue now back to the serving line. Free ball, Japan. Good out by Ding Xia. Another chance here for Japan. Koga, oh, what an angle. What an angle that is. It really is like she stops mid-air, reads the defense, and then swings accordingly. You can see she gets so much power from her core, she opens up and just unleashes with a really sharp angle. In a way to serve, that's very well left because it looked to be going out, but it did drop really quickly. In a way, the only player plays for Hisamitsu Springs in this team, and that's uh, Hisamitsu Springs, the team that won the V League. Doesn't mean that uh, just because you're in that team that wins the championship, you're going to be selected for the national team. Excellent blocking, Koga. For a nice set by number seven, Yuan Yuan, middle blocker in the back row. Japan knows exactly where it's going, gets a good read, and again, just gets low and over. Of course, relatively low and over. That's a nice move <laughs> well, by we, Koga. Yeah, we have said, haven't we, that Japan are giving away height to China, but most of that is in the middle. However, when they get out wide, they're still able to get up and get across the net, even though the players, it says, uh, ranging between 182, 176 for the, and so on, it's still on a 224 net. The players jump really well. They can get up and get across. And they're causing all sorts of problems. 8-2. What is happening here? Which is so frustrating as an offense. 
When you get a good, clean swing and Japan finds a way to get it up and again, just responds with Koga hitting high hands. Well, that might have been going out, but it's another serve that really is testing China's passing unit. And it gives Japan a chance to score again. Oh, yes, Koga into the corner, 9-2. Shinyue ready for that ball. A bump set, she's there early, just overruns it a little bit. You can see those Chinese blockers going past that. Koga runs inside and hits deep corner. It's another massive Ooh block for Japan. 10-2. Koga on fire offensively. This read as a blocker, she's out there. Sees Sheng Yu coming down the line and just stays disciplined, gets over. Good night. Goodness me, yes, it's, it, I think it's 10-2 victory here for Japan. It carries on like this. But China will definitely have a say about it. Yuan Shinyue is too good a player to not try and drag China back into this. That's right, such a great job of getting over, getting that inside hand across the net. Brilliant, brilliant work from Japan. These hitters from Japan are hitting such sharp angles, but it starts with their footwork. You can see they're just behind that ball, able to give a direction as well as see the block. Great job by Hayashi. Well played, Jin Yi. She's come in now and replaced number 10, Wang Yunlu. Those two are just trying to find a settled outside to join Li Ying Ying at the moment. Speaking of angles, she's just barreling in on a tight set. Brings the hammer. Oh. Into the only part of the court where there wasn't a defender. Such a good player, Shimamura. Japan running with speed. Shinyue doesn't even attempt to go up and block. There's a lot of court. As Ying Ying reaching out, the, the worst thing you can do as a blocker, you just want to get up get over. So 12 There's a chance here for China. Well played, Japan taking their hands away. Oh, you got it, that! How did she even do that? Unbelievable. Disguises that so well. She goes up with two hands rather than one. So it looks like a set and just throws it to the other side of the court, catches China out of position. That's so frustrating as a defense. Could be more trouble here. Certainly China have got to try and defend this if they can. They can't get a full swing. Japan might. Well, it's not. The tip will work, though. And more points keep coming Japan's way. This is like a hook shot in basketball anyway. Facing that sharp angle, throws it over her head. Nice vision by her. Shimura. Shimamura. Shimamura. 
huge block, Japan. Yokota all smiles after that one. She catches Ying Ying coming inside. She stops early and gets over. It's exactly what you want to do with the middle block. They're great vision by the block from Japan. Decision had to be made. It was the correct one to let it go. Shimomura goes off. Kojima comes in. Inoue out of the pass, so they can go really quick out wide here. Also, they can go quick on the pipe. Unreal play. You got that slide behind, so Ying Ying is pulled out to, to block that hitter. Koga left with a lot of space. Yuan Yuan doing her best, but not quite enough. Nice work from Li Ying Ying, but Japan will be very happy with that. They'll, they'll, they'll take that all match long here, just the odd ball out to Li Ying Ying, because Japan is scoring two to one at the moment for everything China are doing. Right, good teams are going to make great plays. That's another great play. I gotta say, when you're a setter and you set a ball to the outside and you feel that opposite middle blocker jump, man, that's a good day at the office. Another aggressive serve by anyway, that seam is so tough. Again, you get middle back moving to her left from that angle. Tough to read. This is when it gets really frustrating as an offense, even on these perfect passes, trying to just unable to find their rhythm tonight. I'm pretty sure China have been on the receiving end of this kind of a, a, a game. Oh, come on, five fan. Well, that's a shame for Ding Xia. She's played it on the side of uh, Japan. But Five fans messed that up. She's messed it up, and then she's made up for it by stepping in and digging that overpass. But it's still Japan who take the point. 20 points to seven. This is a, a crushing victory here. Well, it's looking like it's going to be. No one started singing just yet, though. Oh, goodness. Wang Yuan Yuan went after a ball, perhaps shouldn't have done. Free ball here for Japan. Three front court attackers. The pipe's also available. Everyone is moving. And Japan can't find the floor. And that's going to be a net touch. That one hoisted too far in towards the net for Jin Yi to do anything about it. Just glad everyone's okay. That was a tough one. I guess you never like to see that. These no. athletes work so hard to get out here. And just watching uh, the instinct for us that, as well as that we're looking at the feet we're not even looking at the ball at the net nice by kojima wow good Great set five fan with a good turn another one too tight and they don't even have to do anything with it and that's a classic where ding Shash just but desperate to say right we can try and get something with this and they've just been pushing it a little too far each time China might not make it into double figures. That's a classic beatdown at I this have, point. I can't even remember China not getting double figures in a set. We might even have to go back before the scoring system was changed. So Gong Xiang Yu gets them to eight. Anyway, making a great play off the block. Unable to make this one. It's a little bit caught on her heels there. Wonderful siding out. And the player of the match probably is Hayashi. Just, she's been so consistent, but everybody has, haven't they? Everybody's just done such a great job. Unbelievable. So impressed with setter number 24, Tamaki Matsui. You see her using her whole core to get that ball fast with Good location. Oh, well out by Fifan. Shimomura doesn't find the floor. 
And China, that's a big point, because at 24-8, you think Japan might keep them to single figures, but now 23-9, at least the goal might be achieved that Japan can make it, uh, China can make it to 10. Good up. Clever play, and they do make it to double figures. Japan getting caught a little bit on their heels on defense, something we haven't seen that much this evening. Unable to respond to this roll shot. Good up. Great up. And it will be Japan's point. It's now match point for Japan. 24-10. And they are on the verge of remaining undefeated and going 8-0. Yuan Xinyue just stops that for a moment, but only delaying the inevitable here. Yeah, she's got other plans. These teams are fighting till the end of each set. Touches Hayashi a little bit high. This then for the match. Koga, not quite happening. And they'll have to have another go. How many goes will they have to have? They mustn't for one minute think that this is done, though. Because if the mind starts to think that, this could end up being a very different outcome. That's right, a little bit of a cushion. But that's it, it's all over. And what a victory for Japan. They went 4-0 in Shreveport. They've gone 4-0 here in Manila. 8-0 overall, not only with four games left to go, are Japan going to be for sure going to the uh, Volleyball Nations League finals. They've got to be a hot contender here to win it. Absolutely fabulous performance from them. Well, it's always a tough one. Jin Yi trying to make it difficult, trying to force the issue a little bit. Trying to make Japan think about it. But it wasn't to be. Japan have got the job done. 3-1. That's an incredible, incredible win for them. And what a way to round out the second week of the Volleyball Nations League. Here comes the confirmation of the scores. Just unbelievable, 25-12 in that fourth set. They will remember that for a long time to come. Here are the stats. Japan gave China 13 points in four sets from areas, and China gave Japan a set, nearly. It just wasn't to be. China just couldn't get their game, couldn't assert themselves on Japan in any way, shape, or form, could they? Apart from the set that they won, and that's why you've got to love volleyball. You just really never know what the outcome's going to be. You can guess, you can say, yeah, well, China should do this, they should do that, but Japan have just gone and done this, and China have, haven't been able to deal with it. Ishikawa doing her job as well as uh, making sure that that ball went to the floor and made it difficult for serving. This is where China were hitting the ball, and that's pretty sparse, isn't it? 12. Winners for Japan in that fourth set were in, uh, in the green. Five return, but those that were returned probably came straight back as well. 
Well, Courtney Thompson is down with Samina Koga. Let's see what they have All to right, say. We're here with outstanding outside hitter Koga. Tell me, an amazing win for you guys tonight. What did it feel like to be on the court? First of all, you know, it's an incredible team, China. We could win, I'm very happy. We could win, that's an incredible feeling. That's great. And for you, what was the most fun part about playing this evening? Uh, if uh, our offense uh, went to very well, yeah. that time was very fun. It's, it's really fun. Yes, it did. Incredible. You guys are the only undefeated team left. What do you hope for your team moving forward? Uh, um, we are always try to you know enjoy the volleyball and also at the same time you know always uh, thinking about how to win yeah amazing it is an honor to watch you compete best of luck in the rest of the tournament thank you both and back to you clayton thank you courtney and uh, what a great performance from Japan. And now it's time to sign the volleyballs. They'll get uh, thrown into the crowd. They won't, uh, they can't wait for that. But look at this, what a game. What a, a day. Bulgaria getting beaten by Belgium in five. Then we had a four set epic with the USA beating Thailand. And now Japan have got past China in four as well. And that leaves the standings looking a little bit like this. As soon as they come up, which will be any second now. It will keep Japan on top. They move back to number one, 8-8-0, 23 points. The USA's only defeat has come to Japan. Italy have moved up to third, China in fourth. It's Brazil, Serbia, Turkey and Thailand who are holding the top eight slots. And that's great. It's going to come down to the last week in a real battle you feel now between Turkey and Poland for that eighth place and a trip to Ankara for the finals. Well, that wraps it all up for us here. It's just been amazing. I hope you've enjoyed the volleyball uh, as much as I have. And all that remains to be said is thank you so much for your company. From myself, Clayton Lucas and Courtney Thompson, we'll be back again soon when the men go. Until then, goodbye.